Hey everybody, welcome to my polymer clay video tutorial. Um, I am gonna be using the oven baked clay package number one um, that you could purchase off of the Cathedral Art School website. So this package came with um, a variety of colors, small little color blocks, and today I'm going to be making oven baked clay monsters. So this is a super fun, super easy project that kids can do on their own and get super creative with it. So I am going to start by taking some of my blocks and cutting them into smaller sections. So I'm gonna take a little bit of blue. They seem really small, but we're working with tiny little sculptures, so we really don't need a lot. So I'm actually gonna cut each one of these in half so that I can save the other half for some other projects. Black, I'm only gonna use just a third of my block. Okay, so I'm gonna set all my extra colors aside, and this is what I'm going to work with today. And my white, I'm going to cut into four pieces. I used some of the white for a donut project already. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut each of those quarters in half. So I have a whole bunch of little white ones, two, four, six, eight small little white pieces. So I'm gonna set those off to the side. So I think I'm gonna use those for eyes later. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is do a little body for a monster. So I think I'm gonna start with green here. So I'm gonna take my green and I'm gonna roll it into a ball. just like that. If you have toothpicks at home, um, grab some toothpicks. They are really awesome tools for helping create um, little tiny sculptures like this. Because sometimes you need to get into some of the little nooks and crannies and it's hard with your fingertip. Um, so if you have a little toothpick, it makes life really easy. I'm gonna use this little acrylic um, tool that I have, but it has you know a tiny little pointy end, just like a toothpick would. Okay, so I'm going to take my green ball that I just rolled. I'm just gonna press it with my finger just to flatten it a little bit. And I'm going to do the same with the blue, just to flatten it a little bit. And then I'm going to stack those two on top of each other. And I'm just gonna try to make them the same diameter. There we go. Okay. And then I'm gonna do the same. I think I'll do orange as well. Let's roll it into a little ball. Okay, and flatten it. This one I'm gonna make a little bit flatter and wider. This is gonna be um, sort of the bottom, the base of my monster. I'm gonna stack that on top so it looks just like that. Okay. I'm gonna take a little piece of white, roll it into a ball. Take a second piece of white, roll it into a ball. Okay, I'm gonna set those off to the side and then I'm gonna take a tiny, tiny little sliver of black and roll it in between my fingers to make it into a ball. I'm gonna set that off to the side with the white. Those are gonna be my eyes. Okay, so you can see how, how little you need with these little sculptures. Okay, so there's my eyeballs all ready to go. So I have quite a bit of black left and I still have this block here that I haven't used. Okay, so I'll set those off to the side, set my white off to the side. I think what I'm gonna do for the head, so this is gonna be my body. For the head, I'm actually gonna take the red and the purple and I am going to marble them. So I'm going to combine them so that they all swirl together and that's gonna be the head of my monster. So to do that, you can take the first color, squish it between your fingers a little bit, 
roll it out into a snake. There we go. Same thing with the purple. Roll it into a snake. I want them to be approximately the same length. Okay, so there they are. I'm going to put them side by side, press them together a little bit, and then twist them. So twist them up good, just like that. And I'm going to take it and fold it in half, like so, and twist it again. And I'm going to twist it down into a ball. Okay. And then I'm going to roll it out into a snake. Okay. And you can see those colors are starting to marble and swirl together. I'm going to fold it in half again. Give it another twist roll it and you can keep doing this as many times as you like until you get the amount of marbling that you want i'm pretty happy with what the way that looks right now so i'm just going to fold it up into a ball roll it between my hands okay and there's my marbled purple and red so now I'm going to take that one, I'm going to shape it a little bit different. I'm going to make it kind of egg shaped, like so, and then stick it on my body. And I'm kind of flattening it just a little bit between my fingers, just so I have some space to stick my eyes on. So that is going to be my little monster body. Okay. And now I have my little eyes, so I'm going to attach one eye and the other one and just give them a nice gentle press, just like that. And then I'm going to take the pupils. You should be able to just pick it up with your finger because it's nice and sticky. Okay, there's one. It's on my fingertip, two. So there's my little monster eyeballs all attached. And I feel like this guy could use some antennas. So I'm gonna make some little antenna for him. So I'm gonna cut some yellow. And I'm going to roll it into a little snake. And cut that in half. and attach those at the top. Okay. And you can bend them and point them in any direction you want. If you want them to kind of look like they're blowing in the wind, turn them facing outward. You could even roll it up. There we go. I don't think I'm going to put a mouth or a nose on this guy. Actually, I think I will put a mouth on this guy. We'll use some of this little creamy color here. Just take a little bit, roll out a little snake. There. I feel like he's a happy little monster. There we go. Polymer clay monster tutorial. You can bake this guy in the oven at 275 for, I would say probably about 30 or 40 minutes just because you have multiple colors and it's stacked um, a little bit thicker than uh, most of the other stuff that we've been making. Um, and then once it comes out, you wanna let it cool and it should be hard as a rock. Um, with the polymer clay too, if you guys have been building sculptures, um, you actually can paint it after it has been baked. So if you do have some craft paint at home and you wanna add on some other little details with paint, you can do 
do that as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I still have quite a bit of polymer clay from my oven bake clay pack number one that I got. So I am going to keep building some monsters. So have a great day, you guys.